shelter here. I'm, I'm an internet junkie and a nerd and a geek. And fuzzy and kind of handsome. Anyway, so yeah, I was, I was on the internet and I was on this one website called JPAC and they tell me all this gender stuff in the boxes. <coughs> and I'm reading and they're like, okay, check it out. They're pushing a piece through Congress to piggyback against the Matthew Shepard anti-violence bill. Awesome. And they're going to make it illegal for jobs to discriminate you in employment and for applying for employment based on sexual orientation, perceived sexual orientation, gender presentation, <coughs> and perceived gender presentation. Meaning, if a masculine woman, because they exist, some of them are called lesbians, <laughs> not all of them, some of them, goes into a job and says, I want to clean cars with acid. That job cannot say, no. What's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> if a gay man walks in and is totally just kissing his boyfriend, whatever, they cannot say, well, you worked for this other company for a million years and you're the most qualified candidate, but you weird me out, so no. But here's the most important thing that I just got really excited about. Because of that, they were protecting transsexuals which means I could get a job regardless of what I was wearing or if I had a beard that day. And I was so excited, I'm like, yes, it passed the first House of Congress, woo! Revolution! And then, one of our own, Barney Frank, took a big red marker, just like the ones they used in you in school, hmm. and went, Cross trans. What? What the? What? Me? I can't have a job now? You are not my friends! <laughs> you go live with my vagina! <laughs> I never liked you! <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you know, and I honestly, I was like, okay, well, alright, it's alright. It'll never apply to me, right? This will never come up. I mean, come on, I'm fuzzy as hell. Look at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a bear. I, come on. <laughs> Who for one second, until I tell you, would ever think I had 40 double Ds? <laughs> Other than <laughs> you, <laughs> you saw me before. Nobody. So, this Target right here. I went to this Target because I'm a certified pharmacy technician. Yes, I am a Latino and I sell drugs. <laughs> <laughs> legally, legally, legally. And I applied to be a pharmacy technician there. And they were like, oh wow, you got straight A's in school, you're certified, you're licensed, you're really qualified. Sure, we'll give you $11 an hour and full benefits and 10% off anything in the store. And I went, fabulous. And they're like, okay, so I'm this, 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 this. I'm like, well, I have to tell you, I had a name change. So this one part of the background check might come up weird, but I have documents to prove that I had a name change. Okay, cool, no problem, we got it. And at that moment, they Xeroxed those documents, so they knew that I had a name change. So everything's fine, I go off. A couple days before orientation, I call in, hey, when's my orientation time? You're not on the list. I'm not on the list. But I hired, I got hired and filled out paperwork and peed in a cup and everything. I even like did a little dance and sang a little song and drank meat to this. You know, and they're like, well, you're not on the list. I go, for what? You're gonna have to call each other in the morning, blah, 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 click. Okay, rude phone person, happens all the time, right? I call the next day, and they're acting weird on the phone. They're like, well, <clears throat> there was a problem with your background check. You need to call this 800 number. They will explain to you what you need to do or why we can't hire you. <laughs> can't hire me. I had straight A's in school. I'm certified. I'm licensed. And, and on my exam, actually, I scored one of the highest in the state. 
So why do I suddenly not have a job? A couple days later, I get an envelope from the people who did my background check. And I look at it, and it goes, oh, look, it's my old name, my old gender marker. Thanks. So yeah, end of applause. And it sucks. Because now I have like 40 bucks. And I moved to Portland. So it really doesn't matter because 